Hey everybody, welcome back to Warhammer. The end is near. Uh, people did confirm that I'm nearing the end. Uh, I don't know if that means that right when purgation ritual hits that we are done or like a final mission or something. But uh, yeah, it's coming up soon-ish. Now, I do have uh, the Manufactorum going here and I've got a bunch of servitors that I forgot to uh, spend. So I think we're going to go improved reactor output i don't i don't know how like i don't even know if this will be useful at all because i don't know how things are gonna play out by the time this is done it's 12 days and that, that thing's in 10 so i don't know we'll see maybe it maybe it doesn't matter at the end of the day uh we need to focus on the current mission which is extracting seven seeds and eliminating all the seed carriers trying to find uh the best gear that we can as we head into the end game my stratagems are locked, uh, presumably because Vakir is, like, doing the purgation ritual now. Maybe that's why. Um, we are going to take these knights out because we have one, two, three level nines. Uh, we'll take out um, these guys to try and get some levels. And then we have as many options as available for going into the end game. So, Krejim, he's he's rocking this new Deathmaker. If you didn't see, the Deathmaker uh, adds four damage on the Cybolt, and he's got the Fortitude. So if we cast a Cybolt, 25% chance to gain a Willpower. However, because of his armor, he's buffing his autos. So 60% chance to basically get that for free. And then he's got the Aegis Reaction, where he can uh, be at 85% to trigger the Aegis Shield automatically because of Stave of Supremacy here. Uh, let's just see. Yeah, Stave of Supremacy is 50%. There are some at 100, but um, this one also gives four willpower. So for the Justicars, I, I think that is the, that's the way to go. And if they, they're, they're gonna have armor even if they don't trigger it. He's getting plus two willpower from the Sacred Incense tier as well. Next up, we have Sin. Life Giver. Is that the best one that we have still? Yeah, it is, hey? Bone Blight here. The Bone Blight as a reminder. I wish I could just hover and see everything there. I don't know if... Do I get even more information here? It's just easier to see, like, the Cybolt. We get plus two damage. 15% crit. Decent damage. Decent range. It's all good. Uh, Extractor Skull and three Psychotroke Grenades because of the armor. Next up, we have our Purgatory Gelertum with Titan's Roar and the extra crit chance. In terms of armor here, we're rocking the Triumph of Will for the extra focus. So that means that we have a higher chance of return fire, uh, mental focus, and rapid reload triggering. Super nice. And last but not least, Marcellus Trevan, our Interceptor, going with the Falchions and Eternal Wrath, which is a Tier 3 Storm Bolter. Can add some damage and has some pretty good crit chances, actually. He's carrying uh, two frag grenades and the armor is the Keeper of the Flame. So extra damage, extra range, and extra ammo. So fun times. I don't expect this, to, honestly, I, okay, I should build up tension and be like, this is gonna be the hardest mission of all time. Please watch until the end. But I don't expect this mission to cause as many problems. I don't. That said, we've been caught off guard before. You get a couple of bad spawns, you get a couple of big enemies, and all of a sudden, you're taking a bunch of damage. Now, I do want to try and keep my guys at 100% health as we go into the end game, because, again, we're in this kind of black hole of an unknown what's going to happen. Analysis. But I feel like having people at minus HP is just going to be bad news. Defeat. All this ripe biomass provides a perfect spawning ground for the bloom. We must stop it here. Okay. One seed, two seeds, three seeds, four seeds. All right. Um, we should probably try and isolate these. Like, I'll head directly over here, and then we can't, we don't have to worry about flanks and stuff. What is your will? My will is for us to all survive. It will be done. How's that? Oh, 
that would be what pretty nice. Uh, let's go here. Yes, and we'll just push yes, these guys up. Standing ready, moving out. A little bit of a tedious way to do it, but there's the Aegis Shield. 5% bloom. When's the last time we saw that? Crazy. Oh, my favorite. These guys are immune to uh, auto damage, right? Somebody gave a nice tip in the comments. If you, uh, you know, sometimes we have trouble clicking on the I because things are blocked or whatever to get more information. If we hover on these and we hit I, ba boom, we go right into this. Super nice. No damage from autos. Yeah, okay. That's just great. That's fantastic. Your command. My command is you come in here and you just crush. Advancing. Now, I don't want our interceptor to be able to hit this, so that's good. At your service. So we'll take uh, we'll take this onslaught to hit everything. And then guess what, guys? Guess what? We're doing it. We're honoring the chapter because that's what you do. With the amount of willpower that Justicar has, yeah. that's insane, dude. That's insane. Let's onslaught again. Make sure I don't kill that unit. See if you got the reload. Oh my god, everything's clicking. Some of these synergies we have going right now are real nice. Take the seed, please. Another foul yes, seed commander. Seed. All right, my dude. Should I just onslaught this again? Sure. <laughs> Enemy down. Got the crit too. Very nice. And another shot. Oh my god. When everything just clicks. That's outstanding. Okay, so this guy literally needs two. Which I can get. Yes, Commander. We'll just teleport in. Spend one. And kill. Alrighty then. To this one we go. Unleash me. Advancing. I do need to get uh, Jlurdum way up here. Is that going to be too close? They're in a dip. This is a pretty unique map, actually. I don't know if I we've Your seen this very often. My blade is yours. With me, my brothers. Somebody in the comments also said that um, they're really surprised that I haven't seen more of the new... Oh boy. They haven't seen more of the new... Uh, or... I shouldn't say new. The other classes. The non-base like base classes. And, uh, yeah. I'm right there with you. Pray for the end, knights. Prepare to engage. Okay. I see how it is. Your orders? So we're gonna teleport in here. So we can get the autos going. I am here to serve. Um Is that putting me in the thing? I don't think so. I just have to help my dog. One sec. Okay, sorry about that. We're back. He's good too. He's great. Um, onslaught. I'm not hitting all of them. And I don't know if I hit here. No, I don't. But if I go here, maybe that hits all of them. 
Let's start with that at least. But then we still get one of the autos. Get down! And then let's use an auto for this. I will onslaught it as well. It's gonna kill off one of those guys. Super nice. Ammo depleted. Okay. Yes, Commander. Oh, okay. So this was explained to me uh, <laughs> as well. Look at all the help in the comments. Just come in and clutch here. Um, apparently the turn, so something like this where I can only use it once per turn, is actually based on the warp surge meter or something like that. So that's the reason why I can't use an extractor skull here. Interesting way of doing things, I suppose. But, uh, yeah. Okay, am I just gonna take some burning damage? I might. Uh, actually, hold on. Let's do it this way. Let's go get this, get the seed. I claim the seed. Yes, you have. You're a very good boy. Uh, you can take this one. And then, this guy's got nine. If we honor the chapter here, we'll warp charge it. What is your will? Yes, Commander. See them fall, brothers? And then we'll have two attacks here. Oh, crap. <laughs> I forgot. I forgot. I did read it. I did read it. Enemies destroyed. Okay. Yes, sir. Unleash me. See, we're still at uh, unable to use. Like this, even, even though we couldn't target something, this would still be usable. Attitude. Your orders? Moving out. Your orders? Your orders. Hey, where's our next target? Yeah, okay. So we're heading to this one. Uh, I actually think we might end up triggering it there. Or here. Oh, okay. Well, fair enough. Then we might make quick work of this map. Might make quick work. Okay. Right blade is yours. Your command. What is your will? I'm gonna teleport us in here. Get those autos ready. Okay, so these guys have the uh, gain auto first strike. But they don't have that yet. This guy takes no damage from autos. Oh, they just look so similar. What is your will? As ordered. Alright, so I'm actually gonna go uh vulnerable here. Don't know if that's necessary or not, but that's what I'm choosing to do. We're gonna come and snag this seed. A 
Another foul seed claimed. And then we'll do an onslaught here. And we'll get the auto. Oh, maybe not. I don't think he's got the aim. He's got that cover block in it. Mercy in death. Fair enough. So let's do this then. And we'll put ourselves like here. I wonder, do you even have ammo? I wonder if that's a problem. Can't tell. Now, I don't foresee final missions being something where we can just spam everything as much as we've been doing here. Yeah, I think we're out. Yeah, we're out of ammo back there. That's what's going on. Or wait, is that showing for me? Oh yeah, it's showing for me. I thought it was. I'm losing it. Okay. That's what's happening. Uh, you know what? Let's take this one then. And I'll just onslaught. We have purified this place. Jesus. We are dominating. Sin is like, um, guys, do you need me for anything? Oh, well. not fail against this menace. Didn't expect that to happen, but here we are. That's actually pretty good uh, positioning there. Still at a hundred. So this hasn't reset, it seems. Let's uh hmm. whoops. Yes, Commander. I don't think our purgatory is gonna get any action here. It will be done. Set him up over there. Your orders? Now, I don't know if we're going to have a target. No, we do, actually. Well, let's do this. When the synergies are so strong, you can just use them continuously. Standing ready. Let's see if our buddy is gonna hit this. Nope. Siobhan. Why is that? Oh, I oh, probably because the turns haven't reset, doi. But we'll get this from our purgator. That's fine. It's the same thing as those servo skulls. Teleport extraction immediately. All right. Well, we slay the darkness. How do we play this? Affirmative. I think we come here. We go onslaught. And then, can I kill one? No. I could astral. Just guarantee the crit. And then, what we could do here... We can throw a craze so that maybe these two battle each other. The pain makes you stronger. And 
and then set up for gym. Okay, so now all of our stuff here after this 100% should reset. So weird that we haven't really Attack. noticed it till now. But I guess it's just because A, we would have really high warp surges, and B, we weren't as powerful as we are currently. Oh, if this guy blasts that thing. Okay, good. That's a big reinforcement wave. We're gonna ditch the guy on the left for sure. To try to clean these guys up. Alright. I got two willpower there. Whoops. Cybolt for armor pierce and he dies. Love that. Such a good death animation too. Hold on. Okay, he doesn't have any autos. My dude. Okay, what's he at? Nine? What is your will then? We'll reload here. I think we can totally ignore the dude on the left for right now. This will trigger the auto. Should kill. Almost stole it. Good, good. No demon shall avoid its fate. Enemy down! All right, now these two, not much I can do. I could try to come in there, but then I have to go through that. I'm going to look for a kind of a escape here. I don't know if that's going to end me up on top. Let's find out. Excellent. That's perfect. There's no way that other guy's gonna pose any issues. Famous last words. Gliding through the wall. Okay. And then Jlurdome. Oh, let's get this. We're in full, so even if these guys do go for us... But they're not. <laughs> He's pissed! Unleash me. Look at that. You know what? We'll take that. He's not going to be able to do anything else. And we will kill them. Clears up an overwatch for us. We'll clear up this one. And then maybe just to spread some XP around, we could try and get some kills with uh, Sin. That wouldn't be too bad, I don't think. This guy needs four. I'm gonna have to come in closer. Ah! 
I actually don't know if I'm gonna kill that guy now. I'm not. <laughs> I'm not gonna kill it. Would this be able to hit? Over there? Pretty close, eh? But no, not enough. Okay, I got a little cocky, I think. Got a little cocky. As ordered. He's still in trouble, but he's definitely going to hit one of us. Hopefully it's our guy with a billion shields. He disrupted. That's smart. Still triggered an auto. Oof. Just a little bit of that extra damage just to really say, you know what, bro? You shouldn't have done that. Shouldn't have done that. Which, and they're right. I shouldn't have. I shouldn't have. I did think, I was like, that guy could explode or blow that thing up. Um, from his current position. And he moved in. I thought maybe it was safe, but... Yeah, not great. But, I mean, mission accomplished. We'll try and get some, uh, some weapons here. Rank 6 Interceptor. Storm Bolter, Warning Stave. All right, what's this one? Move to a target location within range 15 and reveal enemies. Yeah, I don't understand why someone would use this. Please teach me. Judgment's Refuge. So, tons of move speed, immunity to hazards, some resistances. Yeah. Warning Stave. Aegis Reaction 25, Resistances, Crit, Damage, probably not good enough. Soul Hammer, Rank 2, definitely not good enough. I do, okay, I do like the stun potential. I do like the stun potential as we start to move into these bigger bosses. This is the literally only weapon that I've seen in recent memory that adds stun. Weapon, weapon. So, if I took this upgrade, one Cybolt would essentially do three, because it has one on the Cybolt, one with the upgrade, and then one with the yellow upgrade. And then Eldwin Harn could also join us. But I already have two Interceptors. So, I just don't think that's a good pickup. I'm going to grab this as a maybe. I have the requisition. Everything else I'm going to pass on. Let's see how the wounds look here. Oh, we're only minus three. That's not bad. Lured him. This is it. This is it. Do I take the onslaught damage? Do we take the extra autos? See, now, his extra fire is only two damage. I, I actually feel like it's not that great. Um, and this silencer upgrade is wasted because I don't use it. So... I don't... I don't know. Maybe... I could give him a, an extra grenade slot. That's not horrible. And I could give extra grenade ammo. Or I buff uh, Onslaught and damage. The damage is minor. In the area, I'm already hitting pretty much everything all the time. I'm actually going to take the grenades and the grenade ammo. Grenade slot. Yeah, hell yeah. Now, I could go also into here. The uh, willpower wouldn't be bad either. Two extra willpower. That's an extra onslaught, which is tons of damage. Hmm. I could go into Emperor's Light as well, although we've never even used it. Does Blinded and Purge. That's kind of interesting. Or I could have this so I could use a Warp Charge on Kill Zone to literally break armor. How neat could that be? Have I just changed my whole idea? Yes. 
Now, okay, so Enduring Reflexes, there could be two return fires, okay? That would, I imagine, is at full damage, but that's pr honestly rare. We generally aren't getting shot at Jalurdum. Unless it's like a big grenade. Uh, support Fire just would add two damage if it could go again, which isn't that amazing. Mental Focus. Um, he does crit a lot, so that might be good too. And then Rapid Reload. Again, we're not usually going to go through our gun twice. You know what? I'm going to take this with Armor Break and we'll take the extra willpower. Done. I've decided. We have a level 9 Purgatory. Remember what happened to our last one? Yeah, me neither. Okay. Six days there. 14 days on Jalurdum. It's unfortunate, but that's life. It's only minus three. Could be worse. Okay. So, now... As we continue here towards Purgation Ritual, we need to take important missions. So I think taking Servitors now, probably not the way to go. Um, looking at things that would give us really good upgrades, however, that's, I think, the key here. Look, at this is Tier 3 almost across the board. Rank 7 Interceptor. Fortunate. Storm Bolter. Uh, upgraded Tier 3 Narthesium. Could be good. Tier 3 Power Armor. Grimoire. Not that good. Finished before 40. Pretty likely. Seed Carriers. Pretty straightforward mission as well. Um, this is mostly Tier 2s. Purifier. And Servitors. Mostly Tier 2s. All right. So that tells me that I should probably go here. Is this the one that I was looking at? Yeah, I guess this one. Because there's... This doesn't matter. It is rank 7. It's, it's, it's tempting, right? Like, if we look at our barracks... Let's see. Yeah, like he's already matching Marshala. So something does, God forbid, happen there. But then the loadout and the, or the build out is um, all predetermined, right? So that's also kind of a tough call. It feels like um, these guys that are in the support roles, they don't generate as much XP. Like you can see the XP pop when they get a kill. You're getting XP in other ways. I don't know what that is, but. These guys certainly um, get hurt by that. And I do tend to feed my kills to like two specific units. So basically I'm looking for the tier three Narthesium or the tier three power armor here, right? Because I do only have a tier two. So, getting more damage and more heals could be nice, depending on what the bonus is, too. I actually don't mind that. Yeah, okay. Decision is made. Now, we were getting bloom things popping left, right, and center before. Uh, that didn't happen. Maybe this is our last batch of missions. Um, we'll still... try and get these guys ranked up. Now, does that mean that I try this without a Purgator? Because I have uh, only one? I guess, yeah. I guess I could do that. That's a lot of our damage, hey? I really rely on the Purgators so heavily. But it's wasted in being out there. Um, we could try the Purifier again. Mm, 
Nemesis Force Weapons. So it has crit, can gain 15% to any affliction. Any move moves near, they have armor, pierce, and stun. Psychic ability gain damage. Hammer hand. It just seems so bad. Whereas, like, over here, this is the way to go. I don't know, man. I would almost be more inclined to take Makani. Defend position, tons of armor. And then he donates stuff, doesn't he? Yeah, he donates willpower. He can use the Psy Cannon. He's got Hammer Hand. He could use the big boy side cannon. It's only two damage. Or, sorry, it's only two ammo, so that, that is a bit of a downside. For sure. One... Okay, so let's think about this. Is there really a difference between having two ammo and having one? Uh, in a turn, you've got three AP. So if you use... Both these arm or both of these shots, you have to reload at the end. If you use this one, you have to shoot, reload, shoot, and then on the following turn, you have to reload, shoot, reload. So in a two-turn period, you are shooting less because here you can shoot twice every turn, and here you can shoot uh, twice and then once, right? I think we can make it work, maybe. <laughs> maybe. What storm bolters do we have that you could use? Like, maybe this would just be better. We could try the stun thing. Let's try it. Let's try it. We're we're in the final phases. Let's let's experiment a bit. I could even give him the uh, Rod of the Ancients here, and then he guarantees gets that that Aegis Shield with extra armor. Now he's losing some because of the Storm Shield. This would give him one naturally, and then three on defend position. But it's fine. I'm just gonna play him differently. We're gonna play him differently. Uh, that's not the one. This is on Sin, who's also going to come out. So, Krajim's going to come. Uh, Sin is going to join. I think this. I take the plus three armor. Here's plus five. This triggers focuses, but I don't really need that because I have 100%. One willpower. Three and two. I'm going to take the Ward of the Aegis, actually. Just super tank. And then he's got his stun gun. And uh, Rod of the Ancients. And a grenade. We could maybe change that. I don't think he needs a grenade. Uh, we could try this thing, too. Plus five stun. But he's only got one. I feel like you want to put that on somebody that has a bunch of stuff. I could go here for crits, too. It's not horrible. It's not horrible. Or I could give uh, a bunch of HP. Let's go crits. We kill them before they kill us kind of thing. Everyone else, I think we just keep the same. So, Sin is good. Deathmaker here. And uh, Marshallis with the Falchions. We're just going to have to play it slightly differently because we don't have our Purgatory to lean on. But maybe we get some good rewards and then we see what happens with the Purgation Ritual. Guys, 
We'll see you soon. Bye for now.